Last year's national champions have been red hot at home to start 2019, but Tim Lenahan and the Wildcats look to change that versus Sasho Sarovsky and his crew. Northwestern, Maryland, next on the Big Ten Network. A beautiful night for the opening game of conference play in 2019. And it starts with the defending national champions in the Maryland Terrapins and the Northwestern Wildcats. Hello and welcome to Ludwig Field. Brennan Harlove alongside Joe Malfa for, as I said, the opening game of Big Ten play. And Joe, it's going to be an exciting one for both these teams, especially with the attacking talent of Bardia Kimiavi for Northwestern. So Logan Weaver will have the throw and playing left back, but traditionally a center midfielder. Head coach Tim Lenahan said he's one of the more versatile players he's coached, so playing that left back spot. But here's now Padilla for Maryland. Coming down the center. A run out to the far side. Now it's Matsilevich. His shot is blocked and will bounce back out to Brian Padilla. Whips it in with the left foot. A header away there with a follow-up. And it's saved there by Miskovic. A fizzing effort coming in from David Kovacic. Matt DeRosa was pressured there by Kimiavi. He goes out of play with the Terps a quick throw in. DeRosa able to keep that one in play. It falls to Luke Brown. Here's Padilla. On his non favored right foot, has it with the left! Magnificent from Brian Padilla! The curling effort with the outside of that magical left foot. And the Terps have drawn level against Northwestern. Del Valle flicks it on and a giveaway here. Seeger chips it and it's in the back of the net. An insurance goal for Northwestern. And they lead the Terrapins 3-1 to here with four minutes left. And it looks like the Wildcats will be on their way to an opening win in Big Ten play. Geelan working from the left side, trying to cut in on that right foot, a little back heel to Johnston. Johnston now squaring up his defender, top of the box. Kovacic pulls back, now Benderosa on the far side. Has one! What a goal! Sensational! from Ben DeRosa. He storms the crew, an absolute screamer. And Maryland is on the board through Ben DeRosa. Live from College Park, it's Saturday night for this men's soccer matchup between the Maryland Terrapins and the Cal State Fullerton Titans. Welcome into Ludwig Field. Brennan Hartlove alongside Ben Curtis. And Ben, it is a beautiful night for soccer, much better than it was Wednesday against Rutgers. St. Martin now again getting out wide to Ben DeRosa. Sends the cross in, but it's deflected out, and it will be a throw-in right by the corner flag. Rosa thought about taking it quickly. Up towards Geelan, flicked on towards the back post, and Matt Rosa has it fall out to him on his non-favored right foot. It took a deflection on the way through and looked like it might dip under the crossbar, but it goes out wide. And again, the Terrapins, a corner kick coming up. Well, normally it's Ben DeRosa, Matt's twin, who uses the right foot, but this time Matt says, I, I'll cut it towards the middle, have a go myself from, as you mentioned, not his favorite foot over on the right side. Still took a deflection, and now Maryland with another corner kick, and once again it will be Cronally who takes it, an in-swinger this time. A lot of targets in there for the Terrapins. Matt Zalevich, Bergman, Geelan among them. It's whipped in, flicked on towards the back pose, but no danger there. They're going to say it's another corner kick, though, for the Terrapins. Struck a Titan on the way through, and the Terps will have a go from the other side. There is the captain, Eli Cronali. His older brother, Alex, played, was an All-American here at Maryland. Also wore the captain's armband. I asked him if there's any kind of brotherly rivalry, and he said, not really, but it's always nice to compare. Alex had all the Big Ten championships, but Eli has the national championship ring. Whipped in towards the back post there. Headed up by Bergman, back into the mixer. Falls down here, a shove from behind, and he points to the spot. A penalty kick coming up for Maryland. We'll take another look here, but referee Dimachar Shavdarov not hesitating at all to point to the spot. As Malcolm Johnson was taken down. 
And Eli Crinali, the captain, will grab the ball to take this one. Crinali has yet to take a penalty kick for Maryland in play. The only time the Terrapins have had a PK this season, Johannes Bergman took it and had it saved. But Crinali now lines this one up against Giron. Eli Crinali, the captain, finishes beautifully into the side netting. And the Terps have a 1-0 lead over Fullerton. That's an absolute class penalty taken by Eli Crinali. Goalkeeper guesses correctly, but too much pace on it from the captain. And Maryland jumps out on top. It could not have been placed more perfectly by Eli Crinali. Giron went the right way, but just out of his reach. And Crinali lights up Ludwig here in the first half. Just about 20 minutes played. Maryland a 1-0 lead over the Titans. The Terrapins win a free kick on the far side. Crinali very busy on these set-piece duties. Whips it in towards the near post, flicked on. A deflection there as Geelan's on the turf. It slips through, it's cleared off, but it ends up in the back of the net. We'll see if it's ruled an own goal, but it's Malcolm Johnson celebrating for the Terrapins. If it's credited to him, it's his second goal of the season after he got the winner in his debut. Granali whipped it in, Johnson there on the attempt, but a Fullerton defender tried to clear it off the line, ended up ricocheting it into the side netting. But nonetheless, it is two goals for Maryland on the night and two goals on the season for Malcolm Johnston. Giron at midfield sends it long into the box. Flick down, follow up shot, parried wide, a save by Newman with less than a Two seconds on the clock, and that's how we end the first 45 with a fantastic diving save by the German freshman goalkeeper, Nicholas Newman. And we go into the raid with Maryland, a two-goal lead. Cal State Fullerton, as we've seen, always ready and willing to shoot from distance, and Nick Newman has to be ready all the way up until triple zeros on the clock. It's exactly what he did, and Maryland's offense keeps on rolling. Back-to-back -back halves scoring multiple goals for the Terrapins after three in the second half Wednesday night. So the Terps got off to a pretty good start here with two goals, one from Eli Crinali, one from Malcolm Johnson. The penalty kick gave the Terrapins the lead, and then Johnson put it in to double the Terps' advantage. It was a hot start to the game for the Maryland Terrapins, jumping out to a 2-0 lead, a PK from Eli Crinali, and then a goal off of a set piece by Malcolm Johnson on the follow-up. But then a little bit of controversy ensued following the celebrations. There was a lengthy delay for this tangle between Salazar and Matsalevich and then two other Fullerton players getting involved. Several yellow cards were handed out in that whole skirmish of activity. You have to imagine Sasha Swarovski's halftime team talk to Maryland was come out and get the first goal of the second half. Ball over to Matt DeRosa coming forward from his left back spot. Has a few targets in the middle as he takes it towards the end line. Spin things back and now try to take on his defender. Deflects out of play for a throw in. Again, both of the DeRosa twins playing the fullback spots, wearing those bright pink cleats for Breast Cancer Awareness Month here in October. Cronali chips it over towards Geelan, who rises to meet it, and it flashes just wide of the post. A very good early chance in the second half, and it falls to Justin Geelan, not quite able to turn the header on target. On the far side is Alex Juarez, has it won by David Kovacic, and a nice ball forward with the outside of the boot. Now Luke Brown has it, will wait for support as Eli Cornelli is striding forward down the far side. Some contact there, but it's put out for a throw in, and Eli Cornelli is the guy that talking to Sasha Sarowski before the game, as we mentioned in the first half has been dealing with a little bit of a knock and didn't make it through training yesterday. And Sasha did not seem confident that Cronali would be able to go the entire length of this game. Wasn't sure how much time he'd get out of him. But Cronali has been out on the field for the entire game so far. And has done quite well for the Terrapins, including converting that penalty kick that gave Maryland the lead. Early ball in towards McCalla. Works its way over the far side, Pinzone now. 
Tries to chip it up, but it deflects high in the air. Bergman the closest to it. It falls in the box right into the hands of Nicholas Newman. Really, if that shot went anywhere else, you got to think it was ending up in the back of the net. Now Richardson has a little bit of space and will lay it off to Johannes Bergman. Long diagonal ball over towards Ben DeRosa, who takes it comfortably with the right foot. Going to work against Loeb, cuts back onto the left. Top of the box, Johnston chips it in. Towards the back post, it's loose and runs through everybody. It took a nick off of a Bulldog and out for a Maryland corner kick, but Justin Geelan, you see him down there, almost able to give Maryland the winning goal. That cross would have definitely ended the game. Terps got to move quickly here. Less than a minute to go. Just about 45 seconds left as Cronali looks to tee up this corner kick. In swinging delivery from the right-footed taker. Towards the center. Underneath is Bergman. The parry wide is deflected in. It's Johannes Bergman again. Back-to-back -back goals for the senior captain. His first career one on Friday night against Indiana. And he's the hero here against Yale. Well, now Eli Cronali has it for the Terrapins. Ball over the top for Eric Matsalevich. Flag stays down on the far side. Matsalevich now drops it back. Justin Harris inside. Shot saved by Santucci. Poked out. Maryland still in possession. Matsalevich drops it back to Matt DeRosa. Whips it into the back post. Geelan the closest to it. His header is in the net. Maryland opens the scoring through Justin Geelan. The sophomore's fourth goal of the season. And the Terps lead Iona in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Matt Levich on the ball now for Maryland. Coming forward for the Terps. Has one from distance. It's in the net. Oh, what a goal from Eric Matt Levich. He doubles Maryland lead. And the lights dance here at Ludwig as the Terps are up 2-0 over Iona. Luke Brown. The transfer from Hofstra lines up and has it in the back of the net for his first goal in a Maryland uniform. It might have taken a few months, but Luke Brown steps up to the spot and puts Maryland up 4-0 here in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Brennan Hartloff here for the Big Ten Network with Maryland head coach Sasha Swarovski. And coach, you guys were able to get two goals in the first half, something you haven't done too much in recent games. What did that kind of do to get on the board early? Well, it was a new experience for us. We, we were not sure quite how to react. Um, but I was really pleased with our guys. I thought, you know, we, we came ready for, for a big-time challenge from Fullerton, and, and we got it. They're a really, really good team. They're very uh, technical and very good in possession. And they, they really push you. They put a lot of guys on your back line, and I thought our guys – did a great job defensively, but also I thought we were quite dangerous on set pieces and in the flow of play, and um, just a, a really good victory against a very good team. And then a few positive results at home now. You go on the road to Michigan State. What are the takeaways from these games going back out on the road? Yeah, I, I you know, we've been a slow starting team, I think, in four of the first five years in the Big Ten for whatever reason, and uh, uh, we, we, we seem to get it together. You know, Michigan State's a much better team in their record. They've had some injuries. They're getting some kids back. Um, I think it's going to be a heck of a game, and I think it's important for us to, 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 find, to find a way to get some more points on the road if we want to be uh, among the elite this season. All right, Coach, thank you for your time. Once again, Maryland wins 2-0 here at Ludwig Field. Brennan Hartloff here for the Big Ten Network with Maryland forward Eric Matzlevich. Eric, you had a very impressive goal that got your team on the board first. You looked lively. What were you seeing out there for the Terps? You know, it's just like hounding away, just a chance after chance after chance. Um, and going into halftime, 0-0, but we really wanted to get one in at halftime. Um, but a dominating second half. Um, really proud for everyone on the field. Personally, really happy to get a goal. Um, a lot of chances, so just, just happy that we got the win. And David Kovacic, freshman, not only getting his first career goal, but his second career goal. <laughs> what have you kind of seen from him in training, just the mentality that he's brought to the team? Oh, uh, he's a beast. A Slovenian beast, I have to say. He's just an animal. He's an animal in training animal everywhere he goes so super proud for him to get the two goals um and i mean it's only up for him he's gonna have a great career um but it's just a start and then saturday night going up against the ranked cal state fullerton team what's kind of the takeaway from this game going into saturday confidence nothing but confidence you know it's our first win in the big 10 um we really wanted it and obviously a win gets gets the boys buzzing so we're excited for a saturday night game Ho hopefully the fans will show out i know i know they will um but we're just we're just excited to play again. Awesome. Eric, congrats on the win. Thank you again. Appreciate Once it. again, your final score from Ludwig Field, Maryland three, Rutgers one.